Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. This is Optibotomus coming to you with another video review. And on today's episode, we're going to be taking a look at the new Marvel Legends Havoc, part of the 2016 X-Men wave featuring the Juggernaut Build-A-Figure. For the package, really nice open that window package here, allowing you to see the figure, a couple of his accessories, and then the massive leg of Juggernaut himself. On the back of the package, you've got all the figures that are currently in this wave. And at the top here, it says, With control and precision, Havoc processes cosmic energy to send plasma waves blasting from his supercharged body. But uh, for the packaging on this guy, that's about it for him. So without further ado, let's get him out here and see how cool he actually is. Alright guys, so here we have Havoc opened up and out of its packaging. And the thing that I really like about this figure is he definitely has a modern look to him while still staying fairly true to that kind of classic look that he used to have. I really like the way that this figure turned out. Now for his accessories, as you can see in the package, he does come with the uh, Juggernaut Build-A-Figure piece. Uh, specifically, this is Juggernaut's right leg. And again, we'll put this all together and take a look at Juggernaut in a future video. And then he comes with his uh, little cosmic blast force that you can see. Uh, you got these little clips that can uh, attach to uh, his actual wrist that kind of give him a little blast effect. I kind of like the way this looks. You know, you got a very bubbly kind of wave sort of look coming through here. As you can see, it's a, a clear loose and blue plastic, which looks really nice. Now, one thing that I will say is that the clips are a little bit loose on him. I wish they were a little bit tighter to kind of uh, grasp his wrists a little bit better. But in general, these are nice little pieces. And I think do a uh, fairly good job of sort of replicating the look of his power, I guess. Now, coming in to take a closer look at the figure, as you can see, Havoc here has a very kind of serious look to his face, which definitely fits the character. Of the Summers Brothers, Alex here is definitely not the one that has you know, the most control over his emotions. And I think they did a really nice job here in uh, capturing that and kind of angry look. Really nice, stern look with his eyes. I like the silver paint on the actual head. Coming down to look at the rest of the body, very simple on it. Uh, it's basically just molded in this black plastic. You got a really nice an energy sort of look here in his chest. And then you got some silver paint kind of thrown down here in his waist area. You got some nice silver paint for his gloves. Uh, but really, th that's a a about it. I mean, it's mostly just this black and you know, a molded plastic. You got some nice silver down here in his legs. But uh, sculpting wise, looks really good. The paint actually works form because i mean it it, it just does i mean that, that's kind of like the way that havoc should look and i think they did a really good job with it nice musculature in the body good striations and definition in the muscles and such so sculpting wise i'm really happy for the height as you can see he's a little bit less than six and a half inches tall which scales very nicely with the rest of the figures in the marvel legend line for the articulation, fairly standard on the guy. The neck is on a ball joint, so you can get it looking up and down. Uh, it also does have just the hinge right there that allows you to move it up and down. You got the pin hinge joints here for the shoulder, so you get a nice range of motion. Rotates at the upper part of the bicep. You got two joints here at the elbow. Wrists rotate, and then they also hinge forward and back. You got a really nice upper ab crunch. At the waist, it just has a that rotation cut, and then the hips are on ball joints with a nice range of motion. You got a, a swivel here at the the thigh you got two joints here at the knee and the ankles move forward and back nicely and then they also rocker side to side so really all the articulation that you would want to get some fairly cool poses for the guy but for havoc here probably the most dynamic is just going to be him standing there blasting those little energy bits out of his wrists Overall, very simple figure, but still looks really very good and does a very nice job of capturing that Havoc kind of look and feel. The one part that I really don't necessarily like that I wish was a little bit better are the little clasps on his uh, little energy effects. As it is, you kind of have to put them on the cuffs just to kind of get a stable sort of lock on them. But even though that, you know, the paint is actually fairly simple on them, I still think he came out really very nice looking. As I said, while having a more modern look, this new figure here does a really good job of kind of homaging that original the outfit for Havoc himself. But I really like the guy. He's deceptively very simple, but still displays very nicely. Now, Havoc, as well as the rest of the X-Men from this wave, are in retail stores right now. So if you're looking for him, good luck and happy hunting. Or as always, there's Big Bad Toy Store. So all you have to do for that is click on the link down in the video description. You'll go to BBTS where you can check out availability on this guy, as well as the rest of the new Hasbro Marvel Legend figures. 
But beyond that, guys, that's about it. So once again, I want to thank you for tuning in. This has been Optibotamus. Don't forget that if you like this video, to so please like and share it. Also, be sure to subscribe in case you haven't already subscribed. That way you never miss a future review of mine. And as always, until next time, I'll talk to you later.